folks, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. I'm Sam, joined by my colleagues Chico, Phil, and Noriko. And we have a special guest with us this segment, uh, Anuma-san is gonna join us. Now, in the last few segments, we've given you a little bit of a taste of what you're gonna find in the plateau. Uh, during this segment, we're actually gonna take a little bit of a stroll around the outer edge, though, so we can see what kind of stuff we're gonna be running into later on in the game. And this time, we're gonna go to the top of the top of the top. Let's go a little bit. Alright. And folks who are maybe just tuning in, this is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And uh, yeah, wow. That's just amazing a cool view. horizon. Boy, it's another tower. Is there another, another tower? I was wondering, uh, Anuma-san, if you could talk to us a little bit about the different challenges that your team faced realizing a world of this scale. こんなにあの大きいあの世界を作るっていうので、あの開発側であの直面した難しいなんかあの難しい体験とかあのそういうものはありますでしょうか。あのやっぱり広い世界でもね、あのただただ広いだけじゃなくて、で今回あの登ってまたそこから飛び降りるみたいな遊びができますから、要所要所のそういう高い場所を用意して目指したくなるようなものをそこの周りに置いていくっていうね、そういう構造を作ってますよね。So it's a huge world, but we also wanted to create this vertical world as well, where um, Link will climb up high, and then um, where he can see these um, buildings or elements that are surrounding him. And we wanted to create something, an environment where he wanted to, like, so we wanted to create something that he would want, and the player would want to go and search. Incredible, the different yeah. terrain that we see here. What the boy enjoyed the middle to that. あ,あそこ行ってみたいなっていう場所がいろいろあるっていうのがいいですね。So the the great thing is the greatest thing about this is that when you use a telescope and look afar, you can see all these、um, landmarks or elements that you want to go and check out. あ今ビルはマーキングをしましたけど、あこんな遠いところですね。So Bill just、um, dropped the pin, but as you can see, it's really far from where you're standing. There's still more things to do behind that red pin, too. That's how big that world is. That's right, Chico. There's a lot more you can do. I think, really, I mean, even within the plateau, it's like less than 2% of what people are going to experience in this game, which is kind of hard to wrap your brain around, but it's. The Konkai on the E3 band, the design of the player can be used to. 製品版の 2% ぐらいの領域しか行けないという。うんうんそうですね。Yeah that's right. I'm I'm seeing a rather large lake over here out in the sun. 随分あの大きい湖が右手に見えてきます。There's a some and we've also obviously seen a volcano off in the distance. で、はるか向こうには火山も見えます。Uh, and this time we see the,、uh, the twin peaks that were、uh, in the、uh, original NES artwork as well. The 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 original NES artwork as well. So when we created this huge world, we made sure that we、um, added these elements from the old Hyrule world, and then made sure to put them in. It's interesting seeing here on on this edge of the plateau that we're exploring. There's some really interesting structural elements that are there.、Um, these ruins that kind of make up the outer edge of the plateau. あのこの大地のあの橋の部分にはなんか遺跡っぽい感じのあのこういう構造物があります。それがすごくあの興味深いですね。あの冒頭のシーンでもねあの誰も寄り付けないような場所っていうふうに言ってるんですけど逃げてちょっと今ガーディアンっていうやつとか。ガーディアンとの戦いが出るけど、僕もなんか気持ちが動き出しちゃうので。そして、ガーディアンとの戦いが出るけど、僕もなんか気持ちが動き出しちゃうので。この場所はね
あのその正規なんですね人が近づけないってことはまあ魔物も近づけないそういう正規だったはずなんですけどね。So、um, this area is supposed to be a sacred area where people can't、um, easily come nor、um, any type of monsters. でもいますよね。そう。今やそういうのがいるっていうことは、<笑>じゃあどういうことなんだってことですよ。すみませんね。<笑> And then, but now they actually do is like so. The story is what's going on here. And obviously, we see the castle off in the distance.、Um, and down below, we can, we can see some more ruins. You see these,、uh, these flags blowing in the wind.、However, one of, one of the things that you're not seeing here in the E3 version are any towns or any other characters. And there's a very specific reason for that. Uh, it's, it's because we very specifically here at E3 don't want to go into story details and character details that might spoil the game for people. So rather than showing that off, we're focusing here on the E3 version.、Um, but I do want to reassure everyone that there are towns in the game.、Uh, there you, once you get out into the world, you will encounter、uh, other people. Um, and、uh, you can look forward to、uh, finding out more about their stories and the role that they play in this adventure. Actually, thinking about the,、um, uh, the conversation we had with Miyamoto san a little earlier about how it was a very conscious decision with the original Legend of Zelda game to hold off on revealing much about the story and just dropping in the experience. But it does make it a little challenging when you're talking about this game because, as much as it would be great to talk about the story, it's really one that's best experienced organically when you、oh, yeah. just like, go through it and then get those little bits and pieces for yourself. So, if we, if we tell you everything, it kind of takes away from the joy of. エクスペリエンスアゲンゲームの良さは自分で、まあ、ちょっとずつプレイして、こう自然にだんだん自分のあのペースで、あのストーリーというものをどんどんどんどんハーフしていく、見つけていくっていうことがすごく楽しいゲ
それが面白いと思いました。So, when there's a set path and the players can't find that path, it gets really frustrating. But when it's an open air,、um, when there's a world like this, a huge world where players can choose, pick and choose where they want to go, it's really not a bad experience. And then it actually adds another layer of fun. It doesn't feel like I'm lost. I'm just like doing the you know, long route to get to my destination and then just enjoying more things to do. ちょっと遠回りしたっていうような感じがあって、全然あのネガティブな気はしません。うん、そうですね。逆にあのなんか近道しちゃったぞって時もあったりとかするんで、すごくあの自分でこう決めるってことはすごく重要なポイントだなと思います。<笑> And then,、um, on the other hand, sometimes you will find a shortcut.、Mm -hmm. And then, so it's really important that the players are able to find their own path and then choose their own path.、Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that we notice as we start to climb around the outer rim of the plateau here is the way that the geology changes out in the world as well.、Um, oh. Take care of a, a few keys right there. <laughs> Get those out of the way.、Um, but clearly, you have sort of separated from the plateau that we're on is sort of this other rocky high point here. And then I think as we get、uh, kind of closer to the mountains on the other side, we'll get a look at some other terrain、uh, that we don't see、uh, in other parts of the world. あのここの,あの端っこの方を大地の端っこを歩いていくとあのいろいろな地形というものが見えてきましてで今までいたあのエリアからこう比べてみますとこういうふうな岩のゴツゴツした山だったりあとはるか遠くにはまた違った地形というものが見えてきます。Oh, sunrise. <笑>あのね、セントラルハイラルって、まあ、この地弁は行ってるんですけどだから周りにあるのはその中央に向かっていろんな、ね、あの地方があってこれ、まあ、あの昔はあの、えっと、ハイラル平原というのがあってその周りにこう地方がこうあるみたいな構造とちょっと似てるんですけど。So,、um, this is, we call this the central Hyrule, and then、um, as you can see, there's a lot of different、um, areas and districts that surround it, and then it's kind of similar to what we've created in the past as well. So, eventually, Link will、um, jump off of this plateau, but wherever the player wants to go is up to them. They can choose、um, wherever they want to jump from. And what's interesting is that actually choosing where to jump off the plateau will have an impact on what you experience next in the world. Because the plateau itself is so big, and jumping off on one side of it you know, is going to leave you, obviously, in a very specific area. Uh, and it may not be the area that you're actually hoping to get to. It just depends on where you decide to, to jump down. The Dai Chi Jitai is very big, and the player is very big. 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 So it's important to have the warp, warp spot opened up so you can travel between the different warp spots. But I think they'll usually avoid or open up those warp spots. So <laughs> it, hard, it makes it harder for you. So you point out to you know, I'm going to unlock the rest of the other one. I'm going to unlock the rest of the other one. So I'm going to unlock the rest of the other one. So I'm going to unlock the rest of the other one. I actually,、uh, when, when I first jumped off the plateau、uh, playing back at the office, I, I went all the way to the far side of the map without checking any of the shrines of trials and without opening any of them up. So that by the time I, I got to the far side of the map, I realized it was going to take me a while to get back. Phil was the first time I played, and I was not going to play. I was going to play the map, and 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 I was going to play the map. Ways for 100 players to play,、yeah. and there's,、uh, that way, yeah, there's a way for Bill to play <laughs> this game. Yeah, that's just been very interesting at the office watching other members of the dev team play this game and seeing all the different approaches that they have personally as they try out the game and try out different areas. 
sorry, could you repeat that again? Oh, sure, sorry. Um, I was just saying that it, uh, it's got to be uh, pretty educational to watch how different members of the dev team play this game as they're playing at the office as well with how many different approaches there are. The development team in the development team, everyone has a lot of play skills that you can see. You can see it in the development team. こういうふうなプレイの仕方があるんだなっていうようなあの毎回学ぶっていうようなことはありますか。<笑>あのね、そうなんですよ。僕にね、すべてのね、その隠してある操作とか教えてくれないんですよ。<笑>例えば敵と戦う時も、多分ね、もうちょっとなんか技があるんですよね。だけど僕全部多分知らないですね。そうで、ついてください。いや、で、actually hide these like hidden controls for me。And then, so、um, when I'm fighting an enemy, I know that there is a control that would be able to defeat these enemies really easily. But for some reason, they hide it from me. They just don't tell him. Yeah, exactly. So now we're, we're getting into an area where、uh, you know, I like to step out, take a look around.、Uh, This is sort of the, the part of the game that reminds me a bit of,、uh, of Utah. Did you see what, it was,、oh, what that thing was at the bottom? Oh, yeah, it looks like a little shrine down there. <laughs>、ね、yep, that's right. I can only imagine how many things are hidden in the cliffs as well. Every time you look at any vista, you're just like, oh, there's stuff to come. Oh, my body, you'll meet it all. Talk it to car, I know, Miss Akinanka, meet it all. Ask a pony more calculated in Janaika, do you know, Tilas, the Tamarana in this year? Nice. Nice. I must have to tell us a little bit more about the, I guess, the challenges involved、um, for the dev team with creating the AI for this game because we've got. So many interesting interactions with how the monsters and the different animals in the environment interact with the weather and the time of day and everything else that's going on, even if it's not really doing anything to them. あの今回、そのモンスターの動きだったり、あの天気だったり、すごくいろんなあの AI の部分での開発っていうのが<笑>何やって<笑>興味深いものになっていると思うんですけれども、<笑>そこら辺のあの開発ケアみたいな。と教えていただけないですか。そうですね。あのこのモリブリンっていうのはいつもあのここ最近のあのゼルダのタイトルの中で必ずあのえまあ雑魚的って言いますけど出てくる敵でまずこの敵からまあ設計に入ってくるんでこの敵で何がどこまでできるだろうかってで。あのやりすぎてもちょっとあれだし、でもちょっと人間味のあるようなあのことをやってるみたいな、そういうモンスターにすると、あのちょっとこういたずらっぽくやってみようかみたいな気持ちも生まれたりするので、あのただただ怖いだけじゃなくて、ちょっと面白いっていうものになるっていうね。So、these bokoblins you see here are、um, what's considered to be maybe、uh, more the weaker、um, enemies in,、um, in this game. And, but... It's really fun to add a little bit of like, personality to them, make them a little bit mischievous, give them a little personality. So when you're interacting with them, it adds another layer to the whole experience. They scratch their butt, then they scratch their <laughs> armpit, and then they eat something. It's just, I don't know what they're eating. I don't know what they're eating. I actually don't know that either. <laughs> oh, I think we caught it.、Um... At the office, Nick was talking about. He's like, "You know what the Bokoblins do?" <laughs> oh my gosh! Pickle. I'm so fussy now. 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 So that was、uh, over there was a little tree fort that we,、uh, we just explored、uh, and defeated. It's actually a fairly small one,、um, but when you get off of the plateau,、uh, you start to come across bigger tree forts、uh, with more enemies and certainly more challenging enemies.、Um, and those tree forts tend to be places where you're going to find. Uh, more powerful weapons,、uh, some better treasures, and things like that.、Um, and, uh, and so there's a, really a lot that's waiting off of the plateau for you. And I'm going to eat some food yeah, here. Yeah, I don't think you have to. So that we can、uh, 
continue to explore the outer rim before we get a look at a few other things which we're going to show in video form in a little bit. So I was curious when um, Miyamoto-san, uh, sorry, when Miyamoto-san stopped by earlier, uh, we were talking about his childhood love of hiking and how that really fed into the original Legend of Zelda and the work he's done here. Is that a hobby that you guys share? Um, have you been doing some hiking yourself to get ready for this game? あの、ハイキングをされているっていう話になって、その <笑> <笑>あんまりボスとね、ハイキングしてる社員っていないんじゃないですか。I <笑> I'm from an area called um, Nagano Prefecture, and then Nagano actually doesn't is not surrounded by any water, and there's a lot of mountains. So growing up, I climbed a lot of mountains. This, this actually looks kind of like uh, Yarigatake in Nagano. <laughs> it kind of looks like Yarigatake Mountain here. And I, I actually hated that countryside. <laughs> Growing up, so I really wanted to go into the city. <laughs> so I created this world of big, huge um, nature and the wilderness, but I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head, you know, like I've always been a kind of a city loving boy. <laughs> <笑>そうですね、すごい勢いで。僕が、じゃあこの、このリンクみたいにどこでも登れる力があったら、多分大好きです。And <笑> Well, I think what we're going to do is uh, I'll uh, climb up this way and uh, see if I can, you know, I, it's been a while since I've been skiing, that being June and all, I was going to do some quick uh, shield surfing down the mountain and then we were going to take a look at some videos that Alan and Masan brought oh, that's right. uh, that are going to take us actually off the plateau for the first time here at E3. Is that correct, Aonuma-san? で、まずはあの、ビルの方でシールスタッフして、で、その後にアウノマさんが今回あの持ってきていただいた映像の方をあの、ご紹介いただけるということで、この映像にはあの、この大地を飛び降りた後何があるのかっていうものがあの、紹
もね、本当にダイビングする感じがね、結構気持ちいいんですよ。So this um what you see like a little diving sequence is actually really fun to do. で、ほら、B B J M がグラってきた。<laughs> and it says you heard that、um, little song there. You know, like how you really, it really touches your emotions. It's open air music.、Mm. It's very nice. And this right here is this very snowy mountain. The music is different too. I really love how、um, with the audio.、Uh, You get such a sense of、oh, presence in the environment. This place, you're, you're, you're hearing little bits of music, but you're you're more often paying attention to the animals, the sounds of the wind in the trees, and it it really immerses you in this experience. Nice. あの自然のその環境をあのいろいろな動物の足音だったりあの風の音だったりそういうものが本当にゲームプレイにさらなるあのまたあの新たな一面というかあの新たな要素を追加してくるのですごいその点が面白いです。はい。あれに複数追いかけられると怖いんですよね。Whoever whoever did this is a very good shot. これをあの今打ってる人かなり上手なプレイ。Oh wow. He makes it look easy, but I don't think it's that easy. なんか結構簡単に見えますけども、全然簡単じゃないですね。スタッフの中でもいやあのゲームプレイすごい上手い人が撮ってくれたんでこういう綺麗な感じだったと多分途中でバーンってやられて。私は完全に死んでますね。So I had、um, one of the staff members that is really good at gameplay、um, had、uh, had played this game so I can take a footage. Yeah, well Link is supposed to represent the Triforce of Courage. I have not yet had the courage to try to defeat a, a guardian. <laughs> You can just, you just continue playing, and then one day you'll feel like you're ready to go. You get there. What, when you do it, can you call us in your office so we can watch? Because I, I want to see how it's good. You can just yeah. give me a chance. Yeah. 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 So, there,、um, Amina-san, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? We've got,、uh, I think, a little bit of time left before we have to head out. あのもしアノマさんの方からまた何か他にもあのファンの方々にあの紹介したいあの内容ですとか要素なんかがあればお話しいただけますでしょうか。いやもうね言いたいことは山ほどあるんですけど<笑>この二人に止められてますから。二人二人。There's a lot that I really want to share, but these two are holding me back. Wait a minute. She is. She say things like that. People gonna start sending me. あのでもね今回その E3 版であの。リンクができることっていうのは、まあ、まあ、基本のことはね、あの、えっ、ー、と、体験してもらえると思うんですけど。まだまだもう先に、いろんなものがあるので、ぜひそれは、あの、正義版を期待してほしいと思います、ね。So I think you could get the basic experience from the E3 version, but please do understand that there's a lot more waiting for you with the release version.、Mm-hmm. Excited. Hopefully soon we'll be able to share more details and. Little bits as we go.、Um, but、uh, Amina san, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your time here. I know you must be extremely busy here at the show. <laughs> but、uh, it was really great to see you again. And everybody else, please、uh, come back soon. We'll be getting some more、uh, gameplay <laughs> going.、Uh, thank you for joining us.、Uh, folks are watching again. That was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is going to be coming out for you in the next, next year. And stay tuned. Actually, we've got kind of a cool surprise coming up next.、Uh, we've been given special permission to check out a couple of shrines that are off the plateau. So, We're actually going to take a little bit of adventure down that way ourselves. That's、so. right. There's, there's four, sh- four shrines on the plateau here、mm-hmm. uh, in the E3 version. And I think we're going to take a look at maybe two more that are not available、Elsewhere. on the show floor version and that no one、yeah. has seen before. And that'll be coming up in the next segment. Yes,、yeah, so please、yeah. stay tuned and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.